I would like to thank you for this opportunity, considering it's such an important bill, and I will be named as part of the history on this. I also have to thank my colleague Sri Krishna Devrai, MP of Nasra Pet, for putting together this message, for whom I'm stepping in because he couldn't make it because due to personal reasons. Let me begin by expressing pleasure that this bill has lived up to the Supreme Court's directive, which read down Section 57 of the Aadhaar Act of 2016. I commend the Union Government for clearly aiming to omit the controversial sections on using use of Aadhaar by corporate and private entities. No state in the world should directly or indirectly compromise the privacy of individual sensitivity, sensitive information, neither into the hands of private players nor into its own, and never to a foreigner. I must welcome the enabling aspects of this bill. It attempts to create much needed regulatory framework, enforcement capabilities, and penalizing powers for the unique identification authority of India. Layers of encryption are being added to conceal the Aadhaar number and its data sets which are appreciable. The idea of informed consent and protection of children by their guardians until adulthood are measures of a good public policy. Giving citizens the options to choose their preferred mode of identi identity verification and opening up the ambit of complaints to them are necessary to democratize the system. The bill stands firm on constitutional grounds as it states that no citizen will be denied services for want of other verification. One cannot deny that the bill decentralizes funding by creating the UIDAI fund that will bring self-sustenance for the project in its own right. This is all positive. I am sure that it is music years for the Treasury benches. You must be elated to know that someone from the middle order in this August House is painting a rosy picture of this proposed legislation. You are free to think, think so, but I urge you to lend your ears equally to know the lurking dangers of our times. These days, the big brother tendency of the system itself prevails to haunt our citizens in subtle ways, subtler ways than one can imagine. Let me start reminding you again that I come from the state of Andhra Pradesh, which witnessed the country's biggest other data leak, or you might say data theft. In the year July 2016, the then state government led by the Telugu Party conducted the much-hyped Praja Sadarika or Smart Public Survey. It collected the socio-economic and demographic data of 1.26 crore households in the state, citing that it was for a more effective delivery of welfare system, systems. Sir, in the name of welfare, the TDP government tricked the people into filling information gaps left behind by Aadha. In the government's own words, in the why don't you why don't you why don't you reply in your own when you get the chance? You can reply in your own chance. See nothing going you on. You can reply when you get a chance. It collected the social economic and demographic. Please, please be seated. Please. If anything so and parliamentary, you? definitely it will take care of. The government tricked the people into filling information gaps left behind by the other. In the government's own words, in the government's own words, in the government's own words, it possessed 60 percent. Please try you have to. The house in order. No, no, no. Please, please, be, please try to avoid the allegations against the state governments and all. Please, please speak on the bill. Please, please. In it, not knowing the dire consequence of this survey, people started furnishing details of caste family, community, education, income, livelihood, whether they were beneficiaries of welfare schemes and what amount they received for the same. The then government took all these details and uploaded them online through an EKYC-based verification system linked to Aadhaar. What then followed were a series of data leaks or what you might say data theft that exposed these details to the entire world. In 2018, the AP Housing Corporation website has disclosed personal information and bank details of about 1,34,000 people to several, several private agencies. Again, in June 2018, the AP state government portal www.ap.gov.in itself hosted other link details of 4.5 crore residents living in the state. These details were directly taken from the smart survey, pulse survey data mentioned earlier. Again, in September 2018, 
the AP government put up an open data base once again for more than 23,000 farmers and other tribals. Subsidies provided to them from AP, medicinal and aromatic plants board, and all their personal data were open to all to access. The list of leaks were endless, growing until one day it all started making sense to the people. In early 2019, people witnessed the truth behind the politics, when huge number of applicants were uploaded onto the Election Com Commission's website for removal of votes by the tune of lakhs in each parliamentary constituency. The then government conspired systematically. The then government... We demand an inquiry into this, sir. We so please, please confine to the believer. Time is already over. Sir, this is not fair. This is not fair, sir. Yes, please. Sir, can please. I finish my... Yeah, please, please this be seated. This is my turn. This is my please, turn. Please be seated. Trying to face the music, sir. No, no. Your time is already over. Please conclude. No, I'm just repeating what happened. Everybody knows it's open to the no, no, whole no, no. world. You cannot make any specific allegation. You can okay. very well speak on the bill and your experience. They systematically the using, <laughs> using government servants, paid workers and party cadre to conduct a public survey. All to ensure, all to ensure that the voters profile them and manage the election process in the state. The private company DataGate poured life into illegal project by creating a Seva Mitra mobile application which was accessible to each, to each and every ground, ground cadre of the party. Up, up to the booth level and beyond. The Telangana State Forensic Science Labor Laboratory revealed that a MABOC 7.8 crore records of other data linked with Smart Pulse data were stored by a private company. These records that belong to the citizens of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh were linked with voter ID numbers, color photographs, names of family members, cash groupings, whether they were beneficiaries of welfare schemes and the amount they received for the same. A statement was issued by Ada Deputy Director that the database structure, size, file formats recovered from the private company storage devices were similar to those maintained by the Central Identities Data Repository. Now, while the private company, this is against the private company, I don't please, know why please, you also bother. Now, while the private company was booked by Hyderabad Police till date, not a single servant, government servant, paid worker or party cadre has been arrested. The TDP party was even prepared on the legal front. In fact, back in 2017, the state government passed an Andhra Pradesh Code Digital Data Authority Act, under which Section 37 states that no legal proceedings shall lie against any officer or employee for anything which is done in good faith. Please. What this means is that the leaks and breaches are not something any official in the government can be held responsible. Please conclude. Almost, almost done. The, our present state government our present state government, led by our Honorable Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan Reddy, is striving to scrap such draconian sections of the state law. Under, yes. under his leadership, we are prepared to ground door deliveries of welfare schemes. We are establishing gram secretariats in each village. Any eligible person can approach village secretariat and his request will be processed in 48 hours. I request the union government look into this model and for other states as well. With regard to this bill, no doubt it bars private entities from using other based information. But there is no clarity on norms and, pe and penalties when officials within the government themselves leak the information to private entities or open source. Please, please, source. please conclude, please. In, in case we all, we all saw, in this case we all saw that if an incumbent government has strong will to indirectly pursue illegal means to an end, they can go ahead and execute it. Except today, what happened is exposed clearly. Yes. When yes. such obvious blunders are committed by a government, yes, please, it is unclear. Please. I have to call the other speaker. Almost please, done. No, no. Almost done. Yeah, please, please. Almost done. Yep. The bill. If you want to conclude, conclude by one or two sentences, please. Yeah, yeah. I notice. I notice this bill, bill provides. This. Last sentence. Finally, I would like to suggest the union government to incentivize independent security agencies research to report data weaknesses for monetary rewards and domain recognition. A lot of countries to strengthen their cyber defense is successfully implementing this. Sir, I would like to conclude by offering full support for this bill and amendments made in it. Our suggestions, rather than reacting Thank to you. the situation, 